This is the 21st Leak Code Challenge, and it is called Merge Two Sorted Lists. You are given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list 1 and list 2. Merge the two lists in a one sorted list. The list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Return the head of the merged linked list. So if you have 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, it returns 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. If you have 2 with nothing, return nothing. And if you have 1 with nothing, you just return the other one. So the number of nodes can be anywhere from 0 to 50. The values can be negative 100 to 100. And both are sorted in non-decreasing order. Alright, so I'll go get the project set up. Okay, so I've got the project set up. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with a list node called sorted. And we will leave it as uninitialized to begin with. What we'll do is while... Actually, we'll have a couple of checks at the top here. If list1 equals null, if... Actually, we'll put a check up here. So what we'll do is if list1 and... Oh, list, let's go back. List1 equals null and list2 equals null, we'll just return null, else if, if either one of them are null, we will do if list1 is equals null, we will return list2, otherwise we return list1. So that covers while either of them are null. Next what we'll do is while list1 does not equal null and list2 does not equal null. This is where we'll actually do the bulk of it. And what we'll do is if, add some checks up here as well, so if, if list1 equals null, sorted, how do we do this? So we still haven't initialized it. Actually, we'll, we'll initialize it here. So if list one dot value value is less than list two value, well, actually we'll just do list then or equal to. We will sorted equals list one list one dot this one e equals list one dot next. Else it will just be. Uh, list 2 where we do this. So we've now got this one is less, so that goes the first one. This is our standard value. Then basically I think just the same thing here. Then at the very bottom just return sorted. I think that's all that needs to be done. Let's just run it and see if it works. Okay so that definitely didn't work. Oh okay. What I need to do sorted sorted dot next equals list1 and then we do sorted equals sorted.next sorry equals because it was just overriding it each time ah, actually we need to change this so it's sorted head and then we'll just do sorted so we'll turn this here we will initialize this one here what we then can do is sorted sorted equals sorted head dot next and then we work on the sorted one I think that should work actually no, looking at this we need to change it it's doing sorted equals the next one but then we're doing the next one of that so that doesn't work so return to this and then I think that should work now mm, no it didn't how did it return one two four so that just returned list one. Did I mess up over here? Okay, let's just debug it and we'll run through it. So neither list one nor list two is null. If list one the value is less than, it should. Yep. So sorted head now equals the first node there, and list one value is now the next one. Sorted equals sorted head dot next. Okay, let's go here. So sorted list one dot is less than list two. So it should go to not that one, but else. So sorted equals list two. Yep. So we've got one here. So sorted head dot next should be, but it's not. 
Okay, I might need to change how this works. Actually, maybe I just need a sorted.next equals sorted. And then it works from there. Okay, let's try run that. Sorted's not null. Let's just make it null here. Sort them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's run it. Nope, that still didn't work. So we want to be returning the head. We initialize the head. We want to get access to the next one. I thought this would have worked because we are setting the next one as being sorted. Maybe I should just be changing the value instead of changing the assignment like that. And we will change this to new list node. Let's see how that goes now. Object reference not set. So sorted is null. But I made it not null. How did that happen? Okay, let's just go through it again. So sorted. It's not null. Okay, I see. What I should be doing is sorted dot next equals new and then I reassign. Okay now let's try. Now remove the breakpoint. Continue. Not sure where that zero came from. Okay, def makes it zero initially. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, four. But it did not assign the last one. Maybe I need to put this at the top. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> okay, well now we've got a zero here. May you need to change it like this as well, so we don't have any reference to the original list at all. Okay, got a new one there. Let's try that. Same thing again. I'm not sure where that zero is coming from. So we have sorted head with a value of one. Sorted next is zero. Okay, I see what's happening. I'm skipping this one, going to the next one. Okay, what's the best way to do this? So that should be at the bottom. So we've got the current sorted. We go through it, assign the value to this one. But there's no real good place to do this, because we want to only do it if we're certain that there's a value. Maybe we do this, but then we do if sorted is null, then uh, do the new list like that. Maybe that's how it should be. Actually, no, that was a mistake. It should be just sorted equals new list. If sorted is null, then new list. Can okay, I try it? And that didn't work, just did 1-1. One, one. I'm very confused as to what's going on. So let's get sorted head. Next. Sorted equals null, which it shouldn't be. Which is correct. Sorted list is not less than, because we did the original assignment. Sorted value equals list to value. Yep. List 2 equals list 2 next. Let's open these up as well. So 2, 2, this should be next 3, yep. Now sorted equals sorted.next. Okay, I was changing... Oh no, wait, that was fine. Yep, sorted is null, it still has this. But then we go back to the top. Sorted equals null. We make it not null. Sorted is no longer null. Sorted head next. Okay, the next one is still null. Okay, I think we need <laughs> another variable in here. So sortedhead.next equals sorted, which is the original assignment up here. We want this to be an accurate reference to what we're doing. So we keep this as sorted. So if, we, if we're in this loop, then we know that we're going to be getting new one. So next sorted, next sorted. Sorted.next equals next sorted sorted equals next sorted. Maybe it should be this. I've no idea if that does anything, let's just see. Uh, same issue again of the zero. But where's that zero coming from? It's coming because we're not actually doing that there. So sorted is the next one, but then so is this. And sorted.next is the one we created. Next sorted is the next one. So that's the zero one. We're signing the value Actually, I think sorted It's meant to be the head here. And then here we do this. So we, it's the head. We're creating the next one. And then if we're in here, we're going to be having new one. Wait, no, I don't need to do any of this. So sorted is the head. Sorted dot next is new node. Just need to do sorted dot next value. 
and then sorted equals sorted dot next. Yeah, I think that's all I had to do. But we're missing the last one for some reason. Why is that happening? It shouldn't be breaking out because one of them is still with a value. Okay, let's open up the list. So that this was the initial assignment. So go on to next on to list two. Sorted dot next value list two. So keep this one open. So do that. List three is going to the next one. Yep, it's all good. Sorted now equals sorted dot next. Although sorted still has the value of one. Oh no, that's expected. So now we're doing sorted on next. And this should be this one, because it's two. So that's working. Sorted equals sorted next. Yep. Now going through here, should go to this one because it's three. Yep. That's all good. We go here. Which four is the value. Okay, now list one is null. Okay, no, that's. Just, I was gonna say. I thought I had ors here, which could be why it's not going through. But it's and. Okay, that's why I did it wrong. It is meant to be. So I want them both to not be null. Okay, we'll change it to well, this one equals null, and this one equals null. But we'll do it not. That should be the solution to it. This one does not equal null. And do the same. Yeah, that should be all that's needed. Now we've got the correct output. Oh, hopefully that's all we've had to do. This has taken much longer than I thought it would be. So let's copy this and let's put it into leak code. We'll run on the test ones just to make sure it's all working as expected, which it is. So now let's submit. Gone error. Object reference not set to an instance. Okay. Hmm, not sure I would do that. So, oh, it's because this one's null. So, this one does not equal null. Or, list two equals null. Copy and paste that into here. And now let's try it submitting. Wrong answer. So, this is obviously the cause for it. Well, I assume it is. Okay, I need to change this assignment. So, this one d is not null. Okay, it should be. This one is not null, and list two is not null, and this one value. No, this should be. List two is not null, or this one is not null, and. This one, this two is not all this. Okay, now let's put this one back and submit. Okay, there we go. Little problem there with the logic of how to check it, but we got there in the end. It took much longer than I thought it would for an easy challenge, but anyway, that's the 21st uh, Liquid Challenge, which is merged to solder lists. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.